Hi, I'm Tom Boriak with the Clay Valve Fueling Department. Today, we're going to talk about our 347 GF underwing nozzle. This is going to be one part in a series of short videos explaining and showcasing the maintenance and quality control features of this nozzle. Today, we're going to talk about removing the dry brake quick disconnect from the hose, or excuse me, from the nozzle, inspecting the o-ring on the male adapter as well as the nozzle screen. The dry brake quick disconnect has three independent interlocks. The first is a security ring that can be safety wired or not. Then we have two independent thumb latches that both have to be pushed simultaneously as you can see right here and the other 180 degrees opposite. We can depress them and remove the nozzle very easily from the hose. As a note, be aware that it would be smart to open the nozzle dry brake up from the hose in a five gallon bucket as there's about a quarter cup of fuel in the interface between the dry brake and the male adapter. That way you're not leaking any fuel on the ramp. First thing we want to do is we can inspect our o-ring on the male adapter, make sure there's no nicks or cuts in it, a good practice is to keep a lot of these O-rings on hand so that if there is, you can very easily change it. Just use a small pick, pull it off, and then you have a new one you can take in. You can lubricate it with something like Jet Lube. Uh, that's our recommended lubricant for these. Uh, puts a nice little film on it, a little bit of tackiness, uh, but nothing will stick to it. And then you can go back and install it. Next, we want to look at the nozzle screen. This is our nozzle screen, and it's held in place by a retaining clip. We can very easily remove our retaining clip to pull out our nozzle screen, and we can check this following the guidelines set forth by JIG and A4A. Many operations have extra nozzle screens to swap out and then take the old one back to the shop to inspect, clean, and have for a later date. Very easily when you're done, you can take it back put it back in, and then take your retaining ring, and it just clips into place. Once we have our nozzle screen back in, the retainer in, we've checked our O-ring on the male tail, we can take our dry brake quick disconnect, push our thumb latches and pull it up, and then push down, and locks in place, which then allows our security clip to go around, and then you can safety wire it there. Thank you and look forward to seeing you on some of the other series.